We're testing the Remington Gold and Saber in 380 ACP 102 grain brass jacketed hollow point using the SimTest Media calibrated to ballistic gel specs plus four layers of denim. Test gun is the Bursa Thunder 380 Plus. Remington's bid for your 380 JHP business is a heavy for caliber option. The other 380 loads I'm seeing out there are in the 90 to 95 grain range. So 102 is definitely a little bit higher than those others. And when you look at the various gun forums and folks who are using this or choosing this for their 380 carry, they like the possibility or better possibility that you're going to have better penetration with the heavier loads. Typically the 380 is, is not known for offering tremendous penetration. You might get 9, 10, 12 inches if that. At least that's what we're seeing in test results at this point. So I'm hoping to get a little bit more than that or at least be consistent with what we've done with other loads in this heavier bullet. As far as velocities, it's coming in a little bit under advertised. 940 feet per second is the advertised. I don't know what length barrel they were using for that uh, test, but I'm coming in at 906 with a three and a half inch bursa, and that was at a distance of 10 feet. So we're going to bring it back to 10 feet with the sim test media, hoping for some good penetration through that media. Also the four layers of denim, which is going to uh, give it a little bit of a test as it starts pushing through, and we'll come back and look at the results. Pretty good shot placement. We did have penetration, as evidenced by the water on the table and also dripping on the floor. This passed all the way through the block and is in jug number one. That's why I put these back here, is to have a backstop. There it is. Let's see if I can get that in focus. It's going to be tough. Bear with me just a second. Look back, back. There it is. Uh, looks like it has a lot of denim down in there. Let's empty this thing out and try to make an evaluation out of this. We're just going to look at the first seven inches or so of this block of the bullet path due to the obvious results. Here's the point of entry here, this area. And one thing that's missing, we usually see a lot of denim that's blown in through the impact, but obviously that's not there because it carried forward with the hollow point cavity. And also missing, typically in this area, we will see an expansion cavity of various sizes uh, due to caliber, velocity, and so forth. That is absent because, obviously, there's no expansion. So we just have this narrow path running all the way through, and that is it. Here's your first look at the bullet, and I'll give you some close-ups in just a moment. Clearly see the denim is really popping out of there. Weight with denim intact is 102.8 grains. And the weight without the denim is 102.4. Unfortunately, in this case, we had a classic textbook example of bullet failure due to the hollow point cavity clogging with media, denim, or cloth in this instance. And I have to wonder if Remington manufactured this in a 90 or 95 grain, as are the other manufacturers for their 380, if this would give it the necessary velocity to get that thing to open up. I don't recall having expansion issues with uh, other calibers in my Remington Golden Sabre test, so I have to wonder it's just a matter of this bullet being a little bit too heavy for caliber. Thanks for watching.